What is the biggest mistake our schools are making today? They're trying to teach the children and actually the days of children being taught by teachers are long gone. What they need to do is facilitate, create an environment where children teach themselves. And there's lots of research around. Look, do a search for the Hole in the Wall project in India. They're basically using technologies, using creative, not just the technologies. Put children in an environment and they will educate themselves. So it's about facilitating the learning. A friend of mine, another educator called Ian Gilbert, has written a fantastic book on motivation in the classroom. So the teachers are no longer the sage on the stage. They are the guide on the side, and I think that's the biggest mistake they're doing. They're trying to teach. Okay, so what can we as parents do then to sort of counteract what, what you say is an outdated sort of way of teaching? Okay, um, I think the system is outdated. I think some of the teaching technologies are great. I just want to clarify that. There is a fantastic book called Happy Families. I wrote it. <laughs> um, which, which looks at the psychological development of children based upon a model of a psychologist called Claire Graves. And what we can do as parents is to treat our children like children, not as little adults. And there are stages in terms of their growth from newborn babies to adulthood that we can see and help foster. But we, we as the adults need to be more emotionally developed than our children. And unfortunately, we often see adults who aren't quite at the emotional growth of their children and they, they push the children's development down because they, they feel in competition with their kids. So how we can help our children? We need to grow up. Wow, that's harsh, but probably true. Um, so finally... Tough love. <laughs> tough, tough, tough love. love. Tough okay. love. okay. okay. Yeah. To the parents, then. Yeah, to the parents. Yeah. Uh, we've been asking all our speakers here, you know, the theme being innovation, and I think you will have a unique perspective on this, being that you deal with children as well, how, how you define innovation in your words and, and what it means to you. Innovation is about the ability to release the capacity of being human. And as I said in my presentation, innovation has to come back to being human and the four elements of humanity as the ability to question, that's innovative. The ability to be resilient in the face of change, that's innovative. The ability to form healthy, loving relationships, that's innovative. And more importantly, the ability to get results, but also to know what results we need to get.